Hello, once more everyone, welcome back to my channel back here on YouTube, doing another video today, another college football prediction video. Two good games, again, this weekend, top 25 matchup, number 17 TCU against number 19 Kansas, and then Iowa and Illinois as an Iowa fan, who knows what that's going to be like. And as always, back here for a third consecutive week in a row. He is perfect on the year, he's 4-0 in his two weeks that he's predicted games. It's time for Rory Jr., our guest picker again and Roy Jr. welcome back to the show buddy or RJ as he's known by his nickname RJ Roy Jr. how you going how's it going big guy yeah and you were telling me before you came up to talk about these games TCU and Kansas and Iowa and Illinois you were telling me that you like this this matchup because it's TCU and Kansas two teams that are unbeaten TCU number 17 overall Kansas number 19 and you were telling me you like Kansas quarterback and think he should win a Heisman Award because they've been talking about him for Heisman. Is that that's so? That's what you think? Yes, that's what he thinks. Who knows, Art? Roy Jr. thinks he knows who's going to win these games. He's 4-0 through the two weeks. Um, I'll tell you those the recap. I'll give you a quick recap on who he predicted. He predicted Ohio State against Wisconsin. He also predicted, he also predicted Iowa to beat Rutgers. Last week, he predicted Michigan to beat Iowa, just like I did. And last week, he predicted Kansas to beat Iowa State, and I picked Iowa State in the matchup. So, he's 4-0, and who knows? He came back because he's like, he wants to continue being unbeaten, continue his perfect stretch of predictions. And he has a prediction for this, both these games. Who do you like better in this game, Roger? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, okay. He wants me to tell you all that he doesn't think know how long Kansas is going to keep their 5 0 record and keep on winning games in a row. But he likes TCU better because he says they're a better team and they usually know how to win in the Big 12. He's not sure what he thinks about Kansas. He said Kansas is going to get to the tough part of their schedule and he thinks Kansas probably is going to win like. He thinks Kansas is going to win at least two or three more. Maybe four. Yeah, two, three or four games. Do you think they're going to win still? So who are you going to pick? Really? You're going with, did you go with Kansas at home tomorrow? Really? He likes Kansas at home, I guess. Well, a shocker because Roy Jr. likes Kansas. I was not expecting that. You're telling me you like TCU because you think they're going to win. But you're taking Kansas to go 6-0 and at home. With a big crowd sold out, and it's on college game day tomorrow on ESPN. So take Kansas, giving the Kansas fans another another week of love to go six and zero. Yeah, I think I'm gonna agree with you, Roy Jr. I think I'm gonna agree with you, RJ. So, yeah, it's taking Kansas over TCU. Shocker. Next matchup: Iowa, Illinois. In the Big Ten. And Rory Jr. back on set for the second game he wants to predict. We'll see if that first game, if you, as you, with you picking Kansas against TC to go 6-0 and for Kansas. We'll see if you are spot on to go 5-0 in that one. But here's a tough test for you, Rory Jr. You have to pick between Iowa and Illinois. And you told me something earlier in the week. About their the Iowa and Illinois, you said their defenses are pretty good. Both defenses are the like the top the top five in defenses in the country. Now I want to know if there's two good defenses. Do you think it's going to be a low scoring game? Yeah. Okay. Everyone, Roy Junior says it's going to be a low scoring game. But also, Roy Junior, I have another question for you, and I brought this up with the to other people that I've eaten been talking to. Why is every running back in the Big Ten that's so good number two? They wear jersey number two. Illinois' running back Chase Brown, number two. Iowa's running back Caleb Williams, number two. Michigan's running back Blake Quorum, number two. So, I'm just trying to figure out, Roy Jr., do you know anything about that? No? Okay. But you like the defenses in this game? You think it's going to be low scoring? Yeah. And you, have a, you have a prediction, too, on who's going to win? Okay, I want to hear what you think. You want to tell the fans? 
Oh, we did there. Okay. So what is that? Okay, so Roy Jr. has a little thing he wants to point out. He says that this game is going to have a field goal kicking contest because the defense is going to be tough to win in this game. But he did say he does say there's going to be at least one touchdown a piece for both teams. But he says field goals are going to be the key to this game. And who do you like? Yeah. Really? Want to show the fans? You're taking the Iowa? Really? You're taking Iowa over Illinois. Why are you pick, picking Iowa over Illinois, buddy? You just like Iowa over Illinois? You like the Hawkeyes? Okay, I'll give you that one. So you heard it here first, folks. Origin Jr. likes Iowa over Illinois. And he likes Kansas over TCU. I guess we'll find out if he's correct come tomorrow night. So stay tuned. If you enjoyed today's video, please remember to watch, like, and subscribe. Don't forget to tell your friends to do the same if they're not done seeing it already. And also, please hit that notification button below so you know when I upload a new video. With that being said, have a nice day and stay safe. And that being said, I'm off. And in two weeks, Roy Jr. is going to be back at it. If he is right this weekend on both picks, and let's go 6-0, and props to him. And he's going to get a two-week vacation. Because he's going on Roy Jr. is taking a vacation himself. Because the Hawkeyes are on a bye week next week. So I'm going to give him some time off before he has to go on if he goes unbeaten. So props to Roy Jr. We'll see if he's 6 0 this week. Wish him luck. And me. I like what he I like both picks he takes. And I'm agreeing with him this week. Have a nice day and stay safe, everyone.